on guys, welcome back to an episode of Fishing with Flair. Today I have the October Lucky Tackle Box unboxing. So let's get right into it. So when I open it up, first thing I see is the card that shows what comes in the box. As well as there's the Lucky Tackle Box monthly contest winner. So if uh, you're submitting your, uh, your contest, you have a chance of being on on the back of this card. So we'll start off with the first bait. And that one is going to be a Lucy Bug Zombie Max. That is a $15 lure. You can see right there, it's uh, looks like it's a multi-jointed, um, kind of looks kind of like a swim bait. Uh, it's, a, it's a hard lure. So for this lure, it says that you, uh, you can work it like a jerk bait or uh, let it sink and then swim. Um, basically, it just looks like it looks like it's a multi-jointed swim bait, sexy shad color. Again, good time of year to throw this lure because if you live on a lake where there's shad, uh, all the shad move up shallow this time of year, and so you could use this to imitate a uh, shad and in return catch some catch some fish. On top of it being some big fish, um, granted that this is a big lure, this thing has some awesome action to it. Very realistic looking swimming action definitely going to be trying this out i don't have a ton of shad around here um but you don't ha always have to have shad to throw shad type lures i throw a uh, white chatterbait all the time which imitates a shad but i don't have shad in the lakes around here but you can see that's just an awesome awesome lure right there it's got some sweet sweet action to it again that's 14.99 next we have bass munition centipede this is going to be a green pumpkin, soft plastic. What it looks like to me is a centipede, of course, but in reality what it is, is it's just a, it's a small finesse stick bait that has a bunch of little string appendages on it that they, it kinda looks like a centipede. Um, when I get this in the box, I don't directly think that I'm going to try to imitate a centipede. Um, I think that this is kind of a finesse style, like Cinco style bait, so I might wig, rig it I might rig it wacky and uh, fish it like that, as well as maybe even on a drop shot, you could rig it on a drop shot. And those little appendages are just gonna give it lifelike action. It's kind of like a skirt on a bass jig. You don't see anything in the water that has a bunch of hairs that go around and strands, the same thing. When you see, when the bass see these little appendages everywhere, it's just gonna give it that lifelike um, movement. And again, green pumpkin, awesome color this time of year, pretty much any time of year. Um, but a lot of times you want to downsize if the fish are just really not biting very well. This would be a good finesse lure to try. Next in the box is a Gary Yamamoto 7.75 inch. This is the, uh, the cuttail worm. And I'm pretty sure this is fairly new. I remember when this came out just not too long ago. And basically what this worm is, is a big, it's kind of a big trick worm looking one. It's got its own unique shape. It's kind of fat towards the head of it and then gets slim and it's got this little tail. They call that the cut tail. And uh, you can rig it a bunch of different ways. Uh, Texas rig, shaky head, uh, Nico rig it, wacky rig it, it doesn't really matter. Um, just a good all around bait for summertime, fall time fishing. And uh, of course comes in the, the best color in my mind, watermelon or green pumpkin. Uh, so that's always good. And that goes for $6.89. The next lure is a Johnson Slam a Spoon. This is a uh, looks kind of like a jigging spoon type lure here. And this is uh, this is something that you could use for bass, but you could also use for walleye, northern pike. Um, if you're a multi-species guy, this would definitely be a lure for you to check out. Uh, spoon fishing in the fall is also a good technique because again, you're trying to imitate shad, and that's what this will imitate when it's fluttering down. It kind of looks like a dying shad. Um, again, it, I'm not a huge spoon guy because, like I said, I don't have a lot of shad in the in the lakes around me. But I know a lot of guys from around the country that throw spoons. They're just like this, and it's a little bit smaller spoon, so it's not like you're throwing one of those, you know, giant five six inch ones. So you're probably gonna get a lot of bites on something like this. Um, but it's also it's a very cool lure, and I know I don't I don't have any of these, so I'm definitely gonna give this one a try. That goes for $4.99. The last lure in the box. This is a must add impact spring keeper hook. Five dollars for a package of them, and it to me it looks kind of like a uh, it's, it looks like an EWG. But it has a little screw lock on it, so you can 
um, screw your baits in there that way they stay up on the shank of the hook better whether you're rigging swim baits or a cut tail worm like this one that came in the box um, it they basically the screw like just helps keep your bait up on top of the hook that way it doesn't slide down and ball up and stuff like that but must add always making the best hooks out on the market great product there and then of course we've got the the fish hound booklet you guys know this is my favorite part I'm not gonna go through it just to save time um, but it's just got a ton of different stuff about ocean fishing um, just some great articles in there basically they just teach you how to catch fish so it, you can see it right here look at all these diagrams stuff like this stuff that videos don't always do the best job of teaching as so you can read it here and uh, you don't have to have your phone with you or anything like that and so like I said this is my favorite part because I can read this and I can actually learn how to use some of the baits that come in the box and then of course lucky tackle box sticker and lastly an iBobber promo right there the real sonar it's one of the newer newer portable fish finders it's a pretty cool product so hopefully you guys enjoyed that is october's unboxing for lucky tackle box if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up go check out some of my other videos um, i'm starting to do a lot more filming with the baits that come in these boxes and so you guys can check them out if you do get a lucky tackle box you can watch the videos and see how i fish some of these lures that's it for today's episode and thanks for watching